Good luck. All right, pardon me one second. I'm going to put my favorite piece set back on. Um, I was having some fun looking at all the piece sets, but the uh, one I compete with is this one here. All right, ooh. My opponent is playing the fun thing that my other opponent the other day had been playing, where I played the center pawn, and they played the center pawn, and we got this wild tactical skirmish. Um, um, concern? Uh, wait. Okay, this pawn is defended. It's not as if the entire board is about to explode. Um, it just feels that way. All right, let's get the king out of here. Let's see. And just keep running with the king. Everything's going to be fine. Um, just don't hang the bishop like I'm strongly tempted to do. Um, so, yeah. Perhaps this opponent took inspiration from um, my game against uh, Six Don, who had played this kind of mirror opening against me. Um, so, yeah, we got stuff to study now. Um... Here, let's, in case shit hits the fan, my king will need this escape square. Let's get that played. Um, that's an interesting shape. Let's have the generals defend each other. Is he going to move this over to the left one, maybe? Okay. Um... Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna protect my gold, which allows my silver to move freely. Now, if I take this bishop, gold takes. If I drop the bishop back here, I'm not winning yet. Just in spirit. All right. Whatever. They pin their silver willingly for some reason. I don't get it. All right. Wait, hang on. I'm prone to this fork right here. That's not good. But also, all their generals are abandoning their king, which is kind of exciting. It's not a strategy I've seen before. Um, if I push this pawn, pawn takes, silver takes, they move this, and I'm pinned. Um, oh, we have a comment. Oh, sorry. Did I forget to greet them? If I forgot to greet them, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think I forgot to greet them. No, I did greet at the beginning. You have to go for, um, I play faster or slower? I'm confused. Uh, okay, he will have to, okay. So he'll be back in about five to ten minutes or something. Uh, which gives me just enough time to think about my next move. So, this was where I need to think anyway. Um, this is a teaching game, so, like, I appreciate that he's willing to accommodate my schedule, but also part of the lesson isn't about me just punishing him for... Okay, yeah, I want to just play a decent game. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. He's right. He is absolutely correct. He'll be fine. I still think this is the critical position. 
And even if it weren't, I'd be kind of polite about it anyway. Yeah, no, this is like a super sharp thing where he's just moved all his generals away from his king. So, like, we should find the knockout blow. And then he'll have all the time in the world once he comes back to think about just how his position's going. That's the plan. Um, so, one possible... Oh, I can't draw arrows mid-game, sadly. One idea is bishop up, and uh, the idea of dropping the bishop back and chasing the king with all these pawns. Another might be to push this pawn and try to support it somehow. I don't know. Another is bringing the knight forward. That's not so smart. Um, another move up the lance, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a sharp position. Oh, now there's just drop the rook back, so like I don't fall to a silver fork, which is eventually going to happen. Um, but that seems like a waste of a move. Oh, another has moved the rook left one. Because the center file is in dispute anyway. And if I could get the fourth file pawn moving... Mm, I don't like that. My rook is trapped as I try to advance on this file. Ah, uh, what else can I do? I don't know. Pawn takes, pawn takes, silver takes, silver takes, rook takes. Bishop takes, bishop takes. As a sacrifice that goes unrewarded. I could push my edge pawn, threatening. Well, a silver's in the way right now. Um... Yeah, anything I could basically plan here is all busted. I've not played a coherent strategy. Um, what else can I try? I mean, I could just push this second foul pawn. Eventually that will be useful. That requires me to be patient. Um... Oh, I could move the lance so I don't lose it when the diagonal does open. That's not a bad idea. It's a wasteful move. All my good moves are wasteful. Um, closing the diagonal does not sound very fun at all. Oh, are they back? Sounds like they're back. Yeah, it's a tricky position, but um, we'll work our way through it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, hmm. Ah, screw it. This looks fun. We're going to play the fun looking move. We spent forever looking at a variety of moves. This one looks the most fun. Then we're going to put the knight up. And this blocks the opposing bishop. Um, and then drop the rook back so I don't get forked. 
And then we Subway Rook. And do I just keep pushing? Am I winning this? If I'm winning, how come my opponent keeps making moves so quickly? Hmm. Wait. Hmm. So, opening this file is my objective. I can't let myself get too distracted from it. Um, Okay, where does this bishop belong, I wonder? Um, let's go all the way back here. All right. Silver's pinned. I'm so confused. We're going to have fun. Or die trying. Maybe I should have just moved the silver up and tried to chase the bishop directly, but... Okay, I did not think they would seriously play this, because I don't see... Okay, yes, this can lead to a fork. Um... Hmm... All right. Do I accept, do I try to bluff them out of this? <sighs> okay, I see a fun idea. Let's go for the fun idea. Which is, what, we're going to force this file open and sacrifice everything right in front of the king. And we'll see if he's okay with that. Uh, yeah, taking this pawn is risky. Also, I could just drop my silver here. And if we exchange silvers, my knight is positioned beautifully to continue attacking. Uh, so, decision, decision. Um, yeah, to pawn drop right here. 
or just drop the silver right there. I don't know. Um, I think I need to start with this. I need to get this pawn away from the king first. And that way when my bishop ends up here, I can sacrifice it and then take this. But further, this looks interesting. And if we exchange silvers, now I've got a knight and a silver and a rook attacking. Um... And potentially a bishop attacking as well. So if this doesn't work, well, then there's no sense of justice in this game. <laughs> uh, it depends what your definition of work is, but yeah, like this should, I should be able to attack something here. Well, so now we enter the suspenseful part of the game. 53 moves into the game where uh, the players start thinking about what they're doing. I don't know. I got nothing. Man, I just need one more piece than I actually have. I think all of my attacking ideas just barely fail if he plays everything perfectly. So, rip me. Oh, I get another piece. Huh. Funny how that works. Um... I'm just so much in shock that they're willing to exchange like that. Um, so I have two pieces that I can use to take this pawn. If the rook takes, I'm kind of volunteering to sacrifice my rook if I do that. Um, so it's going to be bishop takes. And we get to unveil my master plan, which is bishop takes gold. Which was telegraphed forever ago, but um, perhaps, I don't know. Maybe there's some reason sacrificing the bishop like this doesn't work. I would like to put my bishop here instead, hitting this promoted bishop and the lance, but then they take my pawn and hit my rook and the bishop and well I could block I could hit this in response and I don't think it works I need to activate my rook so this is the way I'm going about it the king is the only piece defending this general so I think my attack is faster than my opponent's attack 
whether I can keep it that way. We'll see. But right now my attack is faster. Yep. They hit my rook. Um... Okay. You want my rook? It's yours. Check. I guess we'll take this piece. Probably I'm missing so many ideas at this point, but... Uh, it's the thought that counts. Sanjubio I need practice. I'm not seeing a way to checkmate them right now. Despite having so many pieces attacking. Um... I do see that this gold is endangered. Um, it doesn't look that way, but uh, there's lots of tactics here. Yeah, I wondered if they were going to try that. But that's not check. We're just going to surround the king from this side. This 
So if he wants to exchange the gold for both of my pieces, I guess I'm offering that. Um, Which side do I go on, left or the right? Over here, it blocks an inner position there, but here it actually traps the king better. Um, I don't know. I think this is the right square. Over here, my knight would be prone anyway. Okay, that's just checkmate in one. I've been working on my checkmate in one moves. Oh, maybe that was a mouse slip. I don't know. Um... Either way, uh, I've been working on my checkmate in ones. I needed to demonstrate that. Uh, yeah, things happen. A pawn hub left. <laughs> I cannot fault pawn hub for hit leaving after. Uh, yeah, that I'm sorry. That was the mouse slip, but still. Um, yeah, that's mate. Well, uh, that game took a turn for 35 for the unexpected, but, um, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, this rook promotion was unnecessary, um, all right, well, the end game's exciting, uh, let's see, yeah, 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 let's, I know, th okay, fine yeah, let's i'm being a bit more insistent on starting analysis from the beginning i know like neither of us know much about this opening or at least i don't so uh yeah i'm fine with whizzing through the game but just don't expect us to come back to it <laughs> um yeah this uh <laughs> it's got pretty sharp <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, silver cheat may be better. So, yeah. I'm looking at stuff like this. Um, for some reason... Oh! Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Pawn Hub is right. We want to push this pawn. That's interesting. Yeah. And the reason this kind of works is because the knight fork, then followed by a pawn drop, and like this castle is coming apart yeah um at least i think it's pawn drop now right no we push oh that's even better that comes apart fa oh nice <laughs> um all right uh pawn hub likes this fork yeah, I think the point is that this king is kind of a target. <laughs> yeah. I'm a... <laughs> so, yes, I think... Uh, I think the uh, game move uh, was better. Yeah. You can't really afford to give up the center file, which leads to all this mess. Um, although this was quite a mess now, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I missed the pawn drop in front of my rook, but, um, we had some fun. 
Oh, there's a... Huh. Somebody says missed mate in one on 68. That's unfortunate. I missed a silver drop. Or, uh... Sixty-three. Oh, and then uh, head of the night. All right. So, um, well, this is, my opponent has control of the analysis at the moment, and uh, as he should, since he, I won the game, it's a he's allowed to direct our post-game analysis as long as he wants. Uh, um. But yeah, like, this king is just not in a very happy place. Um, wait. Okay, bishop takes us my first or second guess here. Um, yeah, I'm having difficulty seeing how I smoke the king out from here. Uh, so confusing. Yeah, so chasing the king away doesn't seem like the right thing to do here. Oh, instead of the token taking the knight. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess I need to go back further. Oh, even taking the knight's a bad move. Because, okay, well, I'm going to go back and look at this other thing. I missed a silver drop instead of taking the knight. All right, um... So around here, this occurred to me, what was I thinking? Oh, oh dear. I was only looking at the silver drop here after this, but no, this is absolutely right. Yeah, the king is completely surrounded and everything is falling. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's definitely the way to do it. Um, so, a lot of stuff happened. Um, can we back up a little bit? So, we had this thing happen. Um, I wonder, uh, wonder if my attack succeeds against best defense available. Uh, oh, welcome everybody. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. My attack was a bit zealous, or overzealous, so, hmm. Obviously, I need more practice. Obviously, if I knew how to checkmate in the final moments of a game, then I'd be able to back up another few moves and predict what it is that I should be doing. Ah, thankfully, Pawn Hub's taking the wheel, I think and showing us interesting stuff, because I was just terribly confused this game. Yeah, we'll allow uh, Dan 1234 to take a look at the game with us. Uh, 54 silver 8-3. Wait, what? Oh, after 54. Wait. No, I'm sorry. This would be a sensible defensive move. Um, oh, it does completely shut down my attack. That's kind of important. Yeah. Protecting the lawn <laughs> will give you room to breathe. I like this protecting the lot idea. I know it's a typo, but I like this better. It's like... Yeah, anyway. Um, 
Oh yeah, this international set's available in the... Uh, you just hit the gear at the top of the screen. You can't see it on my screen, but there's a gear for options. You just pick the international set. Some of the pieces, some of the fans don't exactly like, but I like the set. Uh, uh, we all do. I need to learn to attack. Because uh, it seems you got the attacking thing down. You got a lot of material this game. Um, so, oh, sorry. So I've departed from the host's position. Yeah, defense is hard because you have to anticipate all the attacks. And it's not predictable like chess. Um, so I think what I did was sensible. But here I did pawn 8-4. And I don't like it at all. I wonder if this is a disaster. All right, what have we got? Oh, Spinal. Oh, right, I forgot Spinal Tap is actually very super strong at Shogi. Like, a third of our audience here is just ingenious um, and uh, could probably do better post-game analysis, but we're going through the exercise anyway. Uh, yeah, this is called Shogi. In Japan, I guess this is like what they do instead of chess. Um, yeah... Uh, oh, also move 43. So backing up, we had this posi Oh! Yeah, this is whimsical on my part. Um, okay. So... Pawn here. Oh, oh, okay, okay, this is cool. Wait, pawn, are you serious? Wow. Okay, this is getting sharp. Yeah, free rook, not really, but uh, this... Okay, I guess I have time and space and such to take this, and my token is actually quite nice up here. This is the madness that happens when you play Central File Rook opening. The board just splits in two. Um, so I'm trying to find checkmate. I deserve a checkmate here. Where's my mate? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I deserve a checkmate. Yeah, this looks sensible. And like we stick the silver here and the rook there or something. Or we just promote this. We've got time. Our king is super safe compared to the opponent's king. Um. I say we've got time. Do I really mean it? How badly do I mean that I have time? Can I just do this? I mean, Pawn Hub's move is perfectly sensible. Um, I want to go down this rabbit hole. Because I'm pretty sure that I'm winning. Well, especially with this kind of defense. 
Uh, whoopsies. So. Uh, <laughs> vamos, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is perhaps the more resilient way to go is back this way. Um, yeah, this, yeah, this has to be tried. Um, I uh, should have taken the silver. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um... So it doesn't really make sense for me to permit all this madness to occur. Pawnhub was suggesting like a silver drop here to shore up my king. Um So yeah, I'm not sure that this um, yeah, so, like, Pawnhub was suggesting this. This is probably perfectly sensible and fine. So I don't get mated. Um, alright, we have lots of comments. Yeah, Crazy House is pretty nuts. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see... Where's my checkmate? This is like the game we played. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pawnhub and I did play a game the other day. Uh, it went in a similar vein. The here, like my king is super safe. My knight is well posted. I mean, shame on me if I lose this. Um, so let's find a way to lose it. Um, do I have to take the gold? I wonder. I don't know about that. I think we just... I'm not sure that this rook move does anything. It loses my knight. Let's try this. Ah, alright, thanks for stopping by. Uh, there's so many tempting moves here. In chess, the saying is, the mistakes are all there waiting to be played, or made, or something. Um, actually, here, I just, no, wait, I can't do that, never mind. Um, yeah, let's just play this. Silvers are good at walking backwards, golds are not. Ah, uh, poor Spinal Tap, trying to climb the rating ladder. It's a long, long ladder, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. This position is hopeless for you. Plus, I can just take this if I'm paying attention. Yeah... And then if I'm further paying attention, maybe I stop myself from getting mated on this diagonal. Um, really depends on my ability to pay attention. Aha! My trap has succeeded. Okay. Pawnhub... Oh! I'm sorry, Pawnhub's move is... Much more beautiful. Uh, yes. This this is a much more reasonable way to go. Uh, yeah. It relies on variations that we're not even looking at. 
Um, but yeah, this is the okay. We got arrows, arrows everywhere. Uh, yeah, I guess people like this side of the position. Yep. All right. Well, yeah. Pawn hub indicates both ways to win this. Um. Hmm. Really, he takes the silver here. Yeah. So here you surround the king. There's a gold drop on the left, gold drop on the right. There's no way to defend both squares here. So. Well, yeah, but there's this. There's always one little detail. Uh, this is why, well, computers make it look easy. It's not. Uh, what other parts uh, should we analyze? This is quite a game. Oh, you quit Shogi Wars. All right. Your buddy won the U.S. Championship uh, that way, which was... Yeah, I don't... I missed something in the conversation. Let's see. <laughs> it's all the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to watch uh, more such games. Um, this in particular is kind of fun. <laughs> Just waiting for all the madness to explode. And I haven't found a way to de-escalate once you've started this, so... Yeah, once you've started this way, I don't know. Wow, we've got such... Okay, well, we had a lot of people earlier than people are having dinner and stuff. Uh... Yeah, so the Spanish players are enjoying themselves a game. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure somebody learned something at the end of this game. Um, so, yeah, there was, there was an unfortunate mouse slip, although at the very end it was kind of over anyway. Um, yeah, around here, this rook promotion was gratuitous, yeah. Uh, thanks for the game, and yeah, thanks, uh, Pawn Hub for analysis, uh... We do we have a nice day, etc. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Yeah, wow. Okay. So moral of the story, uh practice your ed games. I keep saying that I keep saying that I'm saying that, and now I can say that I keep saying that I'm saying that I'm saying that. But, um, yeah, finding the checkmates uh, in difficult positions is what kind of uh, should motivate whether or not you sacrifice your rook, for example. So, yeah, these are good things to practice. Uh, so, yeah, thanks to Dan for the game. Uh, probably see you again next week.